those that will not manage to no, those that will find us already started they are going to they are going to go through the recorded video all right so we begin so the first question here is telling us to find the kind of roots that this equation has so how do you do or how do you answer such a question so to test or to rather to know what kind of roots the given equation has you need to use the discriminant you test the discriminant so our discriminant we know to say the discriminant is given by b squared minus 4a c so the discriminant here is equal to uh, our b we're getting negative 3 this is our b because our a is 5 b negative 3 and then c is 1 so we get our b which is negative 3 and then we square it minus 4 my a there is 5 and then c is 1 so the discriminant is now going to be equal to this would be 9 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 5 that's 20 minus 1 it will give me it will still give me 20 so i mean the discriminant here is equal to 9 minus 20 will get negative 11 so this negative 11 is less than one i mean it's less than zero so meaning the discriminant our discriminant here is less than zero so what happens if the discriminant is less than, is less than zero if the discriminant is less than zero it implies that the equation has no real roots the equation has no real roots So the equation has no real roots. Yeah, the equation has no real roots. So what does this mean? So, okay, this question has ended here. Now, what does this mean? What does it imply? It implies that the when we ha, when we are to sketch the graph of that, if we are sketching. Okay, let me just not do this. I think there's a question about sketching. So the question has ended here saying, so our conclusion is that the graph, I mean the given function, the quadratic function has no real roots. Yeah. So let's quickly check, let's quickly look at the second equation. For what values of P does the equation X squared plus P X plus nine is equal to zero have two real roots. So if we are talking about two uh, or an equation having two real roots, it uh, was simply talking about uh, uh, the watch this, the 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 real roots, yeah. It has even told us to say it has two real roots. Yeah, it has two real roots. Meaning what we're kind we're simply talking about uh, two distinct roots. Meaning our discriminant, our discriminant is greater than zero. So if our discriminant is greater than zero, then it is going to have uh, this condition being satisfied. So meaning our b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. So when we take this 4ac to the other side of the equal sign, we have b uh, squared is greater than, b squared is greater than 4ac. So b squared, my b there is p. So my p, so where there is b, I'm putting p squared, and then it's going to be greater than uh, four. Where there is a, the a meaning the coefficient of x squared there is just one, and then what is my c? My c is nine. So here, uh, p squared is greater than four times nine. So four times nine there will be 36. Four times nine will be 36. And then here you can take this 36 to the other side of the equal sign there. So if there is an equal sign here, it would have just been direct where I just say it's equal to that and that you solve it like that. 
But since there's no equal sign, there's, there's greater than symbol here. So you say P squared minus 36 is greater than zero. So when you look at this, we can split that. This is the difference of two squared. So we can write it this way, minus six squared is greater than zero. So this can also be written as P plus six. And uh, P minus six is greater than zero. So P plus six, when you equate it to zero, you are going to have your P to be equal to negative six. Then P minus six, when you equate it to zero, you're going to have your P is equal to uh, positive six. So to find the range of values of P, you draw the number line, and then you draw the number line, and then you put your critical points. So this negative six and this positive six, they are called critical points. So you put your first negative six there, then you put your positive six there. So all these numbers this side are P greater than six. These numbers this side are P uh, less than negative six. And then these numbers in between are between negative six and six. So now how do you test this? You, you take any number that is uh, less than negative six, uh, maybe negative uh, seven. We put negative seven on P here, negative seven plus six, negative seven plus six, you get negative one. So we're going to have our negative there. And then negative seven minus six, you get uh, negative, negative seven minus six, you get negative 13, which is also a negative number. So negative times negative there, you get a positive number. We come in between here. We can get any number between negative six and six. We can also, we can even get zero. So we put zero at, at P there, zero plus six, we get positive six. So what to put here is just positive. Then uh, zero minus six is negative six. So you just put a negative there. Positive times negative, you get uh, a negative, sorry. So positive times negative, you get a negative. So if you get a negative, yeah, you will move on to this, we're still testing. So here we've got a positive, they are negative. This side, let's get any number greater than six. We get seven. Seven plus six, we get a positive uh, 13. And then uh, seven minus six, we get a positive one. So positive times positive, you still get a positive there as your answer. Okay. So we now take the the what the parts which are, are satisfying this uh, expression there. This expression. So we is a positive number greater than zero. Yes, so many we get this part. If a is a negative number greater than zero, no. So we leave this part. Is a positive this positive there? Is it greater than zero? Yes. So meaning the the range of values of p that we have are p uh, less than negative six. Okay, p is less than negative six, and P is less than negative six and P is greater than six. So these are the values, or these are the ranges of values of P that uh, were needed for us to, to do it, for us to have real roots there. All right, let's see what follows. All right, there's an exercise at the end of uh, there's an exercise at the end of this slide. So please make sure that you solve it. Yeah, make sure that you solve it. Find time to go through it. Then after solving it, yeah, and then after solving it, you can submit your work and then I'm going to mark you. 
So see you on Monday in the next uh, lecture that we're going to have in the next lesson that we'll have on Monday. All right. So I'm going to post the slides and the videos on WhatsApp.